Hello everybody, and welcome to another first look brought to you by MMO Play. My name is Rudy, and today I'm going to show you Dragon Knights Online. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the character creation screen. Humans are fierce warriors. Okay. With natural swiftness. And very pretty. Strength. Very nice artwork. Original very ornate armor. Rebellious border clan. I like all of the, the backgrounds. Of the Peace Empire. The humans quickly. It looks like there are four the different land. races. You're human. Though still considered a young and developing culture. The very the elves. Part, the elves hums with arcane power, inherited from the dragons themselves. Though the mysterious. We have the Feldinks. Instead, devoting themselves to damage. And I can hear some narration going on in the background, but it's very difficult to hear with all the music. I don't know if you can adjust the audio. Well, I, I know you can't adjust the audio right out of the box um, as soon as you sign in. So that's, hopefully that's something you can change later on in-game. But for the character creation screen, it makes it very difficult if it's your first time playing to hear all of this very elegant narration. Natural strength. Okay. Wild nature. Lycan. So it's kind of like your your lion, lion race, warrior race. Very typical of most fantasy RPGs and MMO RPGs. Let's go ahead and see. Though their numbers have dwindled since the height of their humans are fierce warriors. It's very interesting. I love reading all these little paragraphs. I highly recommend it whenever you start any MMO. Just to kind of immerse yourself into the lore as much as possible. So it looks like we have two different classes with the human race, warrior and paladin. And looks like it gives you previews of the armor sets that you can use, armor by level. So I'm guessing you have to unlock these. And it doesn't seem to be very many choices. The only time that you get to choose colors for your armor type is the very first class. So I'm sure that's something that'll change in-game as well. I'm sure there'll be some kind of unlocks and different helmets you can get. We'll see. So, warrior class. A fundamental role in warriors since ancient times, warriors take their position on the front lines and fight to the finish. Their strong defense and powerful melee abilities make them an indispensable asset to any team. These pioneers work their magic with steel and sinew bringing down even the mightiest enemies. And then you have your paladins. Paladins are holy warriors, guardians of victory, who support the team with the strength of the faith. Paladins are united by a strong belief in the goddess Dion and possess the power to bolster their allies. Okay, so get to scroll in, see all the different faces. That's pretty interesting. Alright, doesn't seem like there are very many options, just five. Hair, there's always plenty of options for hair. Makes it very easy to see. You can just kind of click and drag and, and rotate your camera around. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another first look brought to you by MMO Play. My name is Rudy, and today I'm going to show you Dragon Knights Online. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the character creation screen. Humans are fierce warriors. Okay. With natural swiftness. And very pretty. Strength. Very nice artwork. Original very ornate armor. Rebellious border clan. I like all of the, the backgrounds. The Empire. The humans quickly. It looks like there are four land. different races. You're human. Though still considered a young and developing culture. The very the elves. Part, the elves hums with arcane power, inherited from the dragons themselves. Though the mysterious. We have the Feldinks. Instead, devoting themselves to damage. And I can hear some narration going on in the background, but it's very difficult to hear with all the music. I don't know if you can adjust the audio. Well, I, I know you can't adjust the audio right out of the box um, as soon as you sign in. So that's, hopefully that's something you can change later on in-game. But for the character creation screen, it makes it very difficult if it's your first time playing to hear all of this very elegant narration. Natural strength. Notoriously okay. wild nature. Lycan. So it's kind of like your your lion lion race, warrior race. Very typical of most fantasy RPGs and MMO RPGs. 
Let's go ahead and see. Though their numbers have dwindled since the height of their humans are fierce warriors. It's very interesting. I love reading all these little paragraphs. I highly recommend it whenever you start any MMO. Just to kind of immerse yourself into the lore as much as possible. So it looks like we have two different classes with the human race, warrior and paladin. And looks like it gives you previews of the armor sets that you can use, armor by level. So I'm guessing you have to unlock these. And it doesn't seem to be very many choices. The only time that you get to choose colors for your armor type is the very first class. So I'm sure that's something that'll change in-game as well. I'm sure there'll be some kind of unlocks and different helmets you can get. We'll see. So, warrior class. A fundamental role in warriors since ancient times, warriors take their position on the front lines and fight to the finish. Their strong defense and powerful melee abilities make them an indispensable asset to any team. These pioneers work their magic with steel and sinew, bringing down even the mightiest enemies. And then you have your paladins. Paladins are holy warriors, guardians of victory, who support the team with the strength of the faith. Paladins are united by a strong belief in the goddess Dion and possess the power to bolster their allies. Okay, so get to scroll in, see all the different faces. That's pretty interesting. Alright, doesn't seem like there are very many options, just five. Hair, there's always plenty of options for hair. Makes it very easy to see. You can just kind of click and drag and, and rotate your camera around. Lots of blacks and reds with little highlights of gold. Oh, this one's completely different. That's really nice. I like that. I like the colors. Different hairstyles for this race. You have the ears. Also, you have the option of this kind of teal, turquoise hair color. And you've got this, um, what looks like a, like a dark red. I don't really know what to call that. And then you have your typical hair colors that comes with it. Oh, and then there's a brown. So, so every hairstyle has its own different colors. You can see that one is purple. And they all seem to be pastels. And then, once again, you have the accessories, which are very difficult to see with all the hair. Face decals. And let's see if the warrior armor is any different. It looks like it's the same as the other elf class, or elf race. Yep, I don't see any differences. It looks exactly the same. So it looks like the female warriors all have the same armor and I'm assuming the same for the males let's see when we go check out the other race humans are that is true warrior, the beast lichens the let's combined, see what these guys look like okay so they definitely are much bigger than the other races and yep it has the exact same armors armor by level is it the same for paladin yes it is very it's the exact same, just bigger. Different faces. Different hairstyles. Hair colors. Facial hair, mustache. Although these are not... These are more beards. And... Eh, beards and dreadlocks. So that's pretty interesting. And then, ooh, I like the decals. They're much more... Prominent. There's about six of those. Alright, you know, I think I'm going to go with the Lycan build. Let's go ahead and give my character some uh, brown hair. Let's make him look angry. There you go. Angry, angry face. Okay. Oh, input a name. Alright guys, that was character creation screen and I will be back with some gameplay. 
Alright everyone, so I've had a chance to run around and kind of get the feel for this game. Let me just run you through everything really quick. So we have our character level screen, you can throw points in Dexterity, Strength, Con, which I think is Constitution, uh, Intelligence, and Wisdom. So let's just go ahead and throw some points there and save. Your attack and defense, and you have all your resistances down here. If you look at this big window, that's your skill tree, and it looks like it's broken down into basically two trees. So you have your offensive skills, which are on this side, and then your defensive skills. Mockery, yeah. And then you, at the very top you have skills that are unique to your class. So these are three warrior skills that are unlockable at certain levels. The first one is at 10, 20, 30. Let's go ahead and uh, power slash. Yeah, might as well throw another point in there. Save. All right. So right off the bat, I've noticed that there are a ton of starter enemies. They are all over the place. So that's good. That means there's a lot of things to kill. There's going to be lots of grinding. So, this is a, I'm getting the feeling that this is a very grind-heavy game. Which is okay. I don't mind grinding. I don't mind missions where you have to grind. But for some of you, you may not like that. Looks like the frame rate is a little bit off. It's unusual, uh, especially for my system. I usually don't have that kind of problem, so that may be something just server-side. No big deal. Destroying these little gremlins. And then, so you take a look at this, and there's a point shop and all of your equipment stuff, costume stuff. Oh, I'm not attacking. <laughs> Just one hit him, that's pretty funny. Alright, so like I said before, most likely they are are a ton of cosmetic items that you could unlock or purchase. If you go to the item shop, there are... It looks like there's currently just one kind of costume per race. Pirate garb that you can purchase with area points. Yeah, that's all. It's just pirate stuff. So hopefully they'll release some more cosmetic outfits so we can all spend lots of money and look very nice then you have DK points you can purchase different items through there so it's pretty typical I mean fairly standard of course this is just first look so I'm not gonna have all of the nitty-gritty details but right off the bat I, I could tell you that this is a very high quality MMO very nice art style. Looks like there's tons of people still on. When I started off, there was lots of people running around in the starter area. My goodness, there's like a herd of them. There's so many. So very nice music, nice graphics. Very decent combat system. The skill tree is a little simple. Um, a little simple for my taste, but that's okay. And it looks like you can get special skills through your guild or peerage. And the level looks pretty decent. Well, it's not too bad graphics wise, if that's something that you consider when looking at a new MMO to play. It's not bad, especially for a free to play. Kill some of these hornets. Alright. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. This is Rudy with MMO Play, and you just saw a first look at Dragon Knights Online. Thanks for watching.